Hello, my name is Kevin Garland. I just wanted to give a quick tip on when setting up uh, your EDF for any other aircraft. On today, I have the Freewing F-22 with my uh, Fataba 16SZ radio. Um, the quick tip I want to give today is a lot of people tend to, when they program their aircraft for the first time and right before they're maiden, you know, I'll, I'll take a look at their transmitter um, if they want me to maintain in the aircraft. And the first thing I always notice is sub trims being all over the place and even their main trim being all over the place. Uh, it works, it'll fly, um, but however, if you want to get the most out of your servos um, and the most out of the surface, it's best to make sure these items are zero. Um, and the best thing to do, and the first thing you want to do when setting up your aircraft and you have assigned each surface or each servo a channel is go in and make sure that all your tr main trims are zeroed. If you look, my elevator's way off, ailerons are way off, and the uh, rudder's way off. If you go into my sub trim here, you also notice all my sub trims are all over, all over the place. So you want to make sure you take each and one of these and make them zero when you program your aircraft. Trust me, in the long run, it will make things a lot easier. A lot of people just get lazy or don't understand how linkages work and they don't do this step. This is just like a shortcut to get the aircraft up in the air faster. So make sure all these are set to zero and as well your trims, make sure all of the, your trims are also set to zero. Now, some radios may not have this feature um, but after I get all these zeroed here, some radios may not have this feature, but with the Fataba 16 SD and other radios, what I also like to do is go in into my trim settings and make the steps to one instead of four. And this will make you get a more precision trim out of your aircraft. And the thing you got to keep in mind, if you take your aircraft off and let's say your elevator wasn't set, you know, correctly and you take off and it needs a ton of down trim or a ton of up trim, you're going to have to physically hold this button because it's going to fine trim the trims. So every time you give it a click at trim, it's not going to move as much if you move the step from four to one. So depending on your uh, confidence as a pilot, I would probably keep it to the stock step settings until your aircraft is initially trimmed and then land the aircraft and then change it to one so you can fine tune the trim settings of your aircraft. Um, that's another quick tip. Now, once everything is zeroed in the aircraft, so once all your trims are zeroed and all your sub trims are zeroed, then you wanna to go to your aircraft and physically mechanically adjust each surface with a linkage or servo arm. Um, for example, let's say we look under here and we notice that the elevator, you know, it's pretty straight now for where it is. If anything, it might be angled back a little bit, but that's just because of the tooth um, of the servos. If we had more programmable servos, such as S plus servos that we could plug into my transmitter, we can actually change the center point. So this is perfectly 90 degrees off the servo, which is ideal. But if your servo arm is already close enough, then the next thing you want to do in order to get the surface zeroed without using any sub trim is changing the linkage here. So we would take the ball link off of your control horn here and then pretty much unscrew this linkage out until the surface is leveled. Uh, once it's leveled, um, You'll tighten everything back up and you're good to go. And now you don't need any sub trim in your transmitter, it, um, it, which makes it really nice. Um, same thing for all the other surfaces. Um, you want to adjust the linkages first before ever going into your radio. So just keep that in mind. Um, I, I picked up a lot of transmitters in the past for the guy, the guy wanted me to do their maiden flight. I noticed their sub trims were all over the place and their main trims were all over the place. And it's just, it, it only takes an extra five to 10 minutes to make these simple adjustments. And it will just make setting up your radio or setting up your aircraft a lot easier. Um, to kind of go over a quick setup of my F-22, um, 
I max out all my throws. A lot of people might disagree with me with that, but since I'm a um, active um, 3D pilot, I like to push the limits of these EDFs. Um, I will say it is perfectly safe um, for both the elevators, ailerons, and rudders to move your control linkage out to the um, farthest hole of a servo arm. I have no issues with this. Um, I definitely needed it for the elevators and for the rudders to get max through. I didn't need it for the ailerons, uh, so I left them as stock settings. But in order to do slow flight, or um, I needed as much elevator throw as possible. It really helps out. Um, the other thing I did with my F-22 is I bypassed the blue box here for all of my, most of my servos. I definitely bypassed the blue box for my ailerons, flaps, and elevators, but I think my rudder, the rudders and gear are still plugged into a blue box. I have no issues with a blue box. I've never had an issue with it. And the only reason I'm bypassing the ailerons and especially the elevators is because that's the only way that I can program aileron differential uh, for the aircraft and aileron differential, which means if I give it left aileron, I have less down throw than up throw uh, it needed that to do a more axial roll. Um, and the reason why I did my elevators um, on two channels is because I wanted to use tailerons, which A, makes a insanely fast roll rate that is even hard for me to keep up with, but it also helps out in slow flight from when you need more controllability and when you get slow. Um, so those are the two reasons that I bypassed those items. If I weren't going to use those items, I would fully trust the blue box um, in this aircraft. I've not had any issues with it. Um, I'm running a Fataba 7008 receiver, which is underneath the board. I also ripped out all of the quick connect wiring on the aircraft just to save a few ounces of weight. So that's my quick tip for the day. Um, if you guys want to any other videos, video requests, please let me know. Have a good day. Bye.